male pattern hair loss or androgenic alopecia is a common condition that affects millions of men worldwide. It is primarily caused by a combination of genetic factors and hormonal influences. A key hormone involved is dihydrotestosterone, abbreviated as DHT, which is a metabolite of testosterone. DHT binds to receptors on hair follicles, causing them to shrink and eventually stop producing hair. But DHT isn't all negatives. DHT is also responsible for facial hair growth, penile enlargement, enhanced bone density, and muscle growth. In other words, men with high DHT or increased androgen sensitivity may be more prone to losing their scalp hair, but there are positives as well, such as thicker beards or larger p Genetics play a significant role in determining susceptibility to male pattern hair loss. Several genes have been implicated, including the androgen receptor gene, which is located on the X chromosome. The AR gene encodes the receptor protein that binds to DHT. Variations in this gene can influence the sensitivity of hair follicles to DHT. Being located on the X chromosome, it means that boys inherit their single functional copy of this gene from their mothers. Within the AR gene, there is an SNP which is strongly linked to protection from male pattern hair loss. Africans have the highest frequency of the allele which protects from baldness. The allele that protects from baldness is almost completely absent from Europeans and East Asians. But this is not the only gene that has to do with male pattern hair loss. The EDA2R gene, also located on the X, also deals with male pattern hair loss. The ARC57 list variation in EDA2R is most strongly linked to male pattern hair loss, and the allele which protects from baldness is once again most frequent in Africans there. There is yet another major gene that deals with baldness, and that is the EDAR gene, which unlike the previous two, is not located on the X, but rather on the second chromosome. This gene being located on the second chromosome rather than on the X, like the previous two, means boys inherit their functional copies from both parents. The EDAR variants that are associated with protection from male pattern hair loss are most common in East Asians and are absent from Europeans and Africans. Although the genes I mentioned contribute greatly to the risk of baldness, these are not the only genes implicated in male pattern hair loss. There are dozens more genes identified by GWAS that are associated with this trait. West Eurasians, which includes Europeans, West Asians, North Africans, South Asians, and some Central Asians, are at an increased risk of male pattern hair loss. While genetics and hormones are primary factors, lifestyle choices can also contribute to hair loss. A healthy diet, rich in nutrients like iron, zinc, and biotin, can support hair health. Excessive stress, smoking, and certain medications can also impact hair growth. Fortunately, there are treatment options available. Finasteride, which is a medication that blocks the conversion of testosterone to DHT, can help slow down hair loss. Minoxidil, applied topically to the scalp, can stimulate hair growth. However, it is essential to consult with a healthcare professional to discuss the best treatment approach for individual needs.